really I keep mine between 6.2, five, well, I, I can go as low as 5.8, I don't like to, I like 6, 6, 6.2, 6.4, no higher than 6.4 um, during flowering and veg. And that's just, again, my personal preference. Um, other cultivators might tell you different, other books may tell you different. In fact, I've had books tell me about five different things. So, again, there's no right or wrong answer. Um, now, again, this is pH in your, you know, you're gonna get your runoff. So, this is where, and because I have to move on, we're at 17 minutes, I have to get into this demonstration. I'm really sorry if it seems like I'm jumping around. But uh, it's also a little difficult without the notes. Uh, this here is what is known as a PPM reader or for dissolved solids, okay, and it can read it in, in, in different ways. Now what's important about this is that a lot of cultivators unfortunately don't want to invest $100 and get in the dipstick and make sure that they're doing the proper flushing. And when I say flushing, that's that end product. If you get a headache and uh, you get a black ash that's not burning, I can pretty much guarantee you that there would have been red light blinking on here somewhere prior to, uh, prior to harvest. So that's something I'm going to be uh, demonstrating here. And I think the, yeah, I've already shown the timer and the calibration, so we'll go ahead and just, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and show this. I don't know how I'm going to be able to get both up here, but we'll basically say put three cups up. Actually, four. Is there any questions yet from the room? Jason, sorry, what, what causes the headache that you're talking about that from bad meat? Uh, in my opinion, um, it can come from organics as well if it's completely unflushed from my own experience um, in the states. And uh, I, would, I would also say from chemical growers, again, um, who may not, they're on a commercial scale, so they may not be as um, as cautious with, with measuring, like I'm going to show you here. They may not take it right down to neutral cell, or, 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 or sorry, not neutral cell, but neutral as being zero. And, and if they're still registering, they may not care because they, they want to get their harvest cut, they want to get it down. I call it cut and rack and sell. They don't cure it, which is putting it in the glass jars. There's a lot of stuff that we, I mean, that's a whole other class. Well, I'm, I'm going to interrupt a little bit, though. Uh, um, the one fertilizer or, or part of them that uh, they use a lot, especially in vegetative stage, is nitrogen. And uh, they don't need it at all in the flowering stage. Um, when the plant is given too much nitrogen, it absorbs it and forms crystals on its leaves. So that's why sometimes you can buy pot and it looks like it's got crystals, but it's not THC crystals, it's nitrogen crystals and it burns black and really harsh. No, that's not the only one that makes it burn harsh, but that's, I'd say, the number one culprit. Yeah. Um, just, uh, yeah, on this particular bloom that I use, the organic bloom, there is a still a, uh, a four ratio. This is why we flush. There is a four for nitrogen, nine for potassium, uh, or sorry, nine for phosphorus and eight for potassium. So I mean, this is you, you want to make sure you understand your numbers when you're playing around with, uh, especially with organics. I mean, I, the organics can be a little more tricky to grow with. And your other product has no nitrogen. No, this is because this is an attitude that goes with with this. It's yeah. a, it's a the, yeah. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my bloom fertilizer and just put some different doses here. So let's just say two drops in that one. I'll make it three drops in the one then. And maybe one drop in here. Nope, and then that's that one. Can you get two drops in that last one? I think it'll still come out to the point that I'm trying to make anyway. Okay. Just because we're on a time, okay. time thing. I'm hoping somebody online will fire us in some uh, questions. Anyway. So what I'll do is I'll turn this to face everybody to see okay. So generally with your dipstick, if I go into here, I'm going to look and I see I got a light here. So that's actually not bad if I was if I was flying down, okay? Because really anywhere between 600 for me and I'd say 950, I, I'm okay with right up to where you know I didn't want to drop down. Now you can see I, I added less fertilizer. It's the same concept, right? We go into this one. We're gonna we're gonna blink a little. Yeah, I already said it. We're gonna blink a little less, mm -hmm. of course. Now as of course, just say this is like you know 14 days of flushing. So I'm like 10th day into flushing. So I'm like, okay, this is great. I'm tapering my flush, nice and slow. I'll get into the third one, and I'm going to show this one to the net, just so they can see again. We got a low blink in light. Now this would be perfect. Ideally, some growers chop at this point. Okay, that's the thing. They will chop at this point. And nobody knows anything under 400 is pretty much good. You wouldn't notice a difference really in the headache factor or burning factor. It's more of a of an integral thing, I think, for the cultivator. And finally, what I'm going to show here first is we got neutral, no lights. Now this is ideally what I want 
when I end my crop, when I see this, I let it sit 48 hours, the plants, 24 hours in dark, bring them out, put them on the rack, and that's not where it ends. And since I got eight more minutes, I'm gonna actually talk about some curing. But uh, that's a demonstration on PPM, so, uh, yes. So the flushing is a very touchy point, the growing stage is the most important for the end product, right? One, 100, 110%, I would say that the medical, from a medical user standpoint yeah. or an end user, I mean, regardless of who you are, I mean, there's really no danger to smoking cannabis, even if they are using chemical. I'm not shooting down the chemical grower. I'm saying you should have a citrus taste, personally, or personally, in my opinion, you should have a citrusy taste. And as a medical user, organics over chemicals, 100%, you know, and of course, flushing, absolutely. I mean, it, it, it's our lungs. It's my lungs. I quit smoking for my lungs. My I think lungs. this is the most consistent mistake I've seen in growers in the, in the last few yeah. years is they, they continually do the same mistake over and over. Absolutely. And, and this is, and, 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 you know, you raise a good point when you, when you mention that because, you know, for those online that might be watching me right now thinking, well, why is Jason sticking his head out? You know, like, I mean, I grew covertly for five years. You don't stick your head out. Um, it's because of my illness. I mean, I have an illness where I'm terminal. I have so much time.